Hey, it's Elmo, it's RC, and this is another video about my RPG game. Um, so as you can see, one of the big change for the graphic is the um, ratio. So before it was 4x3, so there were black borders on each side of the screen, but now I've changed it for 16x9, so it's a um, white screen, and it, it feels better, in my opinion. Um, so changing it wasn't that hard because when I first made the game I was kind of smart. I put like constant and I simply needed to change like one line of code and everything was correct. So I was kind of proud of that. Otherwise it would have been a real mess. Um, so something I've been working on, it's still not done. It really looks crappy in my opinion. Um, it's the um, your stats all combined into one place. So I've just equipped a couple random things. For example, this body gives me a range, defense, and melee damage. Um, so as you can see right there, my body gives me a melee boost in offensive, so damage. Um, this one, fire, but this one comes from my boots. As you can see right there, so my boots give me this. So as you can see in my game, there are quite a lot of stats, and there are even more than that. It's only the ones I've, I've hung, I'm thinked of. Um, so there's simply the damage ones um, for each attributes and each weapon, kind of basics there. Um, then there's the status effect, burn, chill, confuse, knockback, and bleed. You can boost everything. So for example, you can boost the chance of burning an enemy, um, how hard they will be, how much HP they will lose um, every turn. This, the magnitude and then the time for how long it will last. There's also pierce, the amount of bullets, um, many stuff like that, attack speed. And for the defensive, it's kind of the same thing. There is one for each um, attributes. Um, then there's the resistance. Um, there's this, There's also, it's not only defensive, but also general. Um, the speed, uh, magic fine, hull, like the pick radius. Like if an item is close to you, you can pick it up, but if it's far away, you cannot. But if you boost your pick radius, then you will be able to pick items farther away. And life, your regeneration. I, I also plan to add um, mana regeneration because in my game, there will be uh, some sort of magic points. Um, so right there, it's the blue stuff. I don't know if my weapon, yeah. The, the special attack, the right click use mana, so I can only cast it if it's over 75, I'm not really sure. And to the right it's my dodge, but right now uh, <laughs> I'm testing stuff, so it doesn't cost any dodge. But normally it will. So you can have items that will boost the amount of dodge you can make, uh, I don't know, per second, not per second. But anyway, I guess you get the point. Another big thing I've changed with my game Except that is, well, first of all, the whole um, database system. You cannot really see it, but for the database part, everything was changed and optimized. And one of the good thing about that, that is that it was now possible for me to make a decent friend chat. So this is uh, my friend list. Um, I'm currently working on revamping the world graphic of my game, so changing all the, um, the tile set and all the character and all the items and stuff like that. I already got a big bunch of, of pictures and I bought a, a commercial license for them, but I don't really want to show it to you now because I don't have any good map to show you guys. But yeah, it's in my plan to have graphics that I can actually use myself. In my game but for now I'm just using random stuff um, so how my friend list work well first of all I need to log in let's create a new account new account new account okay so there are ton of stuff this is a little sneak peek it doesn't look very nice uh, anyway so this is a little sneak peek so you can like before simply chat normally and it will appear in the other people chat now you can add a friend with friend here let's say I add this one is with 3a so now this guy is in my friend list I can say a random thing to him by clicking its name um, let's just go here and I can also reply to it by pressing the tab button and I can say other stuff 
and I can simply add him once again. It also works with um, private on, private off, private friends. Um, and there are a couple of things that my game have that are quite good in my opinion. So you can um, choose a nickname for the guy. So let's say that some AAA is too long or whatever. You can rename it for let's say um, A. So now the nickname of some AAA is a well it's kind of a crappy example. Let's just um, put that my name is I don't know. I don't know what's RC. Let's do it that way. Um, so there I will add I don't know what's RC and I will add a nickname that will be RC. So if I want to talk with RC, I can simply do the um, commercial A. I don't know what it's called. This symbol, the nickname, and then I say the message. And um, the client will be able to actually transfer the RC, check into your um, nickname list, and translate that. So I didn't receive, receive a, mes a message from Sam. And some only had to do a commercial, and then this is a message. Uh, you can also add comments to a friend, and this seriously in like RuneScape 07, this would have been so freaking useful. So let's say I want to add, um, let's see, Sam, and I will give it a quick uh, nickname. Let's say S, and uh, I will say Epic Guy. So now if I move my mouse over Sam, I will see in the top left in the context section, Sam, nickname S, and also the comment Epic Guy. So I could put, let's say, um, Sama, which is, let's see, Sa, and it's a steel bar seller. Now, I don't forget, I know who the friends in my friend chat are. Because let's be honest, um, especially in RuneScape, the people in your friend chat, uh, friend list, are not necessarily friends. <laughs> Maybe you just add them for trades and stuff like that. Another thing I want to add, it's not added yet, is to have categories of friends. So you could have, let's say, a category of friends that will be real friends, a category of friends that will be sellers. And you will be able to put um, your private on to only, let's say, your real friends, on to everybody, on to only um, your sellers and stuff like that. So it's really customizable. And the client, everything there is done by the, the client. And that's a big thing because before I couldn't make, let's say, a right click. Yeah, I got a little problem there, but anyway, I'm working on it. Um, so I couldn't simply right click on a, um, I don't really know how to explain it, but all the, the box right there is all generated by the client. The server doesn't even know that this exists. And it it's it's really uh, a big, big change. The, the system I've just added. Oh, yeah, another thing really cool is that you can actually send offline private message. So let's say I want to send an uh, offline private message to Sama. Let's say, well, hey, Oh, actually, um, yeah, I put a little security on this. You need um, you need to be in the other people friend list to do so. So we'll simply log with um, Sama. I will add uh, lag. Yeah, I guess my browser doesn't like <laughs> need to add all those stuffs. Um, but let's say I want to add I don't know what's RC and give it a quick name. Um, okay, so now. I don't know what RC is there. If I quit, this one will be offline. I say, hey, I will send an offline private message to the guy and when he will log in, he will actually receive the message um, from, I don't know what's RCA at um, whatever hour it was. So I think this is really good. I mean, if, if this feature was in RuneScape, I would really like it sometimes <laughs> um, so I guess yeah you can also remove people or simply right click their name and stuff like that so I guess it's pretty much it about my game right now I'm still working on a couple things including the graphics and um, that's pretty much it so stay tuned